So in previous video, we have uh, done a lot of things like uh, we are, have unlocked the bootloader and then we have checked about the SDAF forums and uh, Telegram useful stuffs. And then we have installed the TWRP in the previous video, we have uh, routed uh, our particular device. So what uh, in this video we are going to do is we will be finding the Gcam, uh, not perfect, but what and all uh, workable uh, Gcam we have it for our redmi uh, 12 it is uh, having a capable hardware but uh, software is uh, this one ama camera it's uh, decent uh, no uh, not much uh, to complain for the price it's fine so what uh, i am going to do is i here we have this uh, redmi 12 4g tapas community so this uh, tapas so in tapas uh, tapas tape as i don't know so uh, so I already have noticed that there are some uh, uh, activities which happened. Uh, uh, so here you have it. So LMC 8.8 beta fix config uh, XML. So this is the configuration file. So once you have the Gcam, it is a raw one, uh, basic Gcam or something. Uh, it will be working in all the devices. So uh, what uh, these devs do is uh, tweakers they will be uh, changing this uh, configuration values of uh, it has lot of criteria so those values they will reduce or increase based on the processor performance or uh, megapixels so that uh, they have did it for our redmi uh, note 12 4g so early this version is 2.5 he has mentioned and in the previously it is 1.1 1.0 uh, so uh, that was having some issues i believe so he has made a, a updated one here he mentioned it for uh, uh, redmi note uh, 12 that is fine it was having a yellowish issue i think last time um, uh, i don't know so this one he has updated so we will be using this uh, xml file and we need that uh, particular 8.8 uh, uh, lmc so this and all xml file so here we have the link so i will be opening it and you can install this one uh, lmc88 first one so i already have both these uh, xmls so here it is um, i have this uh, apk file and then this uh, xml uh, 2.5 and uh, 1.0 so once you have all these three files i will copy it to my lap uh, mobile so you will be downloading it in your mobile so this process you can simply ignore so I will enable the storage as well. File storage and I copy. Okay, so it is just uh, getting pasted, and I will open the file manager and files. Okay, so here I have a uh, episode 5. I uh, install this one. So, LMC camera, this is what I am going to install now. Okay, open uh while using the app while using the app while using the app hello okay so here we have this one but it has in, it is showing only one camera no, we are not using all three uh, cameras um and video we have uh, the capability of uh, full hd it will even have a 4k 8k but it won't work we know so uh, 60 fps so 60 fps not seems to be working so 30 fps okay -ish. okay <coughs> portrait i have a different camera so i have took some few photos but here you can see it is uh, fully green color i have to use photos because it's a google cam so Photos looking fine, but it is fully green tint is there. This one I took it in a MIUI camera. So, see. So, so it's green color. So, now we'll try to load that XML file, whichever dev has created. So, here you have a space, right? You have to double click. And uh, expected directory is empty. Requires XML file. So, now uh, it will create a folder, I believe. So, Okay, so I am unable to find it, but uh, we can do it like uh, going to settings and config 
input setting okay so here you can import as well so i have this one and i have 2.5 please import it so this configuration now has been imported so save settings okay you can even uh, do this one okay. now i am coming back so finally this is fixed how i did this after you put it in the setting you have to double click here and that file will be showing and you can you have to click import okay so now here you can see i have leica ldr and ultra wide uh, native and um, macro lens so all three lenses are here and if i use leica means uh, i will take some few photos so i took a lot of photos so here it is so first uh, remember okay so um, this point right so after we loaded this configuration so this is uh, taken using leica one so this is actually good but here you see some greenish tint is there but uh, that is fine i think but overall the picture quality is uh, somehow decent so this is the front camera the beautification hits really hard i would say and this is i took it in ultra wide so ultra wide lens also you can change so ultra wide photos are fine and uh, this is normal uh, photo without without uh, leica and this is portrait and yeah this and all uh, portrait it has some issues with the uh, finding it but uh, still these are uh, decent one and this is the video which is by uh, uh, 920 uh, this is a uh, 1080 pixel I took it in 60 FPS so this is uh, not that ideal I would I would say so it has some jittering effect but uh, actually uh, this front camera also this one uh, so 60 fps is uh, not properly working so but the, uh, actually the processor is capable of 60 fps so i would say okay so now i'll shoot a 1080 video so now i took 1080p video so this is a 1080p 30 fps back camera but uh, yeah it is having some issues so i don't know how to fix this one and this is a 30 fps so now i uh, took it in set it in auto and uh, took photo video but still uh, these videos are having issue so far video you better use uh, uh, what i would say open camera or something i don't know so yeah these video related things are always problem with this recent uh, uh, mid-range or low-end uh, snapdragon processors so uh, this uh, photos wise uh, this camera is actually uh, doing really good job of it and i actually like it so yeah if i disable this uh, this one also not suited i just reduce the beautification a bit so here you can see the difference so this is lot of beautification this is only little bit beautification front camera is good guys so uh, i think also that color uh, degrading is happened due to this one aw so auto white balance i believe so yeah overall uh, this is great and see the preview preview wise it is actually showing good preview but the video is disappointment so that's what about uh, installing gcam and having this setup so you also try to go through the group and find a good one uh, xml file and the setup so if you find something this one make sure you update in the comment section and with the link so others will get it useful even i will get it uh, useful so yeah thank you for watching code motto